Good evening, race fans, and welcome to the Final Fantasy Randomizer Summer Bingo 2024 Rockout with the Lockout. We have Lockout Bingo action for you tonight. Uh, very exciting matchup here between Chanigan and Bajumano, uh, semifinals action today. Uh, my name is Softnum, and I am in the booth today with Classic Gamer. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I am excited for this semifinals action. We had one semifinal race earlier, and this will decide who else goes into the finals. Yep. Um, we will probably try not to spoil the earlier race for those who want to go back and watch the VOD, but um, it was very exciting, and I do encourage you all to go and watch it. But um, let's talk about these parties. On top, we have Chanigan with a Thief, a Black Belt, and a Black Page. Yep. So that's Definitely good for Zeely and Ronnie. One of the things about this flag set is that Thief Lock Picking is on. Of course, we do have in the bingo, I don't think on this board, but we do have Take Thief to level 25, but at level 18 it will get Lock Picking. It also has Hurt Undead and Heal Magic at a malice of 1 hit percent per level. What about that Black Belt? Uh, the Black Belt um, can equip gauntlets and helmets and has plus 10 vitality. Um, and is missing one MDEF per level, which is not great, but... Eh. Um, but I, I think that the real reason here is if we look at um, the 20th square, so take black one Black Belt to level 25 is one of the squares, take a character to level 50, the character you want to take to level 50 is a Black Belt, let me tell you. So that's probably why we see both of our parties here taking a black belt. Um, why don't you tell me about the black mage they both decided to take? And we're off. Oh, oh the black mage has lock two and plus ten hit percent, but no temper. Cannot learn temper. Um, temper's not level one. Yep. So it's a pretty decent level one magic. I did see in Viz 2, Harm 3, we do have Group Harm the White Mage. Stop it. Lightning 2. Even Lightning 1, because we do have improved Fire, Ice, Lightning, and you know, Chanigan is off to check Serta. Yeah, we're checking Serta. Um, it looks like we're going to do some pop grinding here. If we look on our bingo board here on row 2, column 5, popping off, this is take your characters a certain number of levels. The exact number. I believe it's three levels if memory serves. Yep. All right, Shanigan heading to Crescent Lake. And that is six levels for five levels for Shanigan, so we're fulfilling that. Yep, pretty easy to do starting at level one. All right, Shanigan, meanwhile, checking out to see what the sages have, while Budgemano is heading to see what the pirates have. The sages, the herb that's So, and we've got some pretty decent, we've got expert level two, that's pretty big for that white mage because, you know, row one, column two, transfer to complete, that is debuff a fiend with expert, can be any fiend, one or two. And we have simultaneous pirate fights. That is, that is very in sync for the, the destination they've taken here. And of course, Lit 2 is going to clean up all of these pirates. And we will not see them, and we're going to go ahead and see what Vicky is keeping here. And a Ruby. Vicky, yep, which is a T for Budgemano, of course. Titans is not incentivized in this flag set, so that really probably isn't going to be much of anything, but you do get plus 5% experience for items, so those, you know hit level 25 and, the, and then put your level 50 on that black belt. Matters and we can zap at level 2, and I think I saw a lock there as well. Level 2, yep. Lock, slow 2, uh, zap, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. I'll go ahead and check Garland. Um, yep. I believe we are going to box Garland. Uh, uh, well, Janigan wasn't, or at least he's going to try Lightning too, so, but it looks like Bajmano is going to try to punch down Garland. Which is a 
pretty good idea if you've got a black belt. The black belt's put down enough damage to, to win the fight in four or five turns. Meanwhile, Victoria had the Oxiel. Oh, nice. Oh, that'll come in handy later. Is it every room on crack in one floor for instance? And that friendly square as well. Chanikin. Chanikin is not. Oh no, that's locked too. So Chanikin might be tr trying to box Garland down, but Ojimano has going beat him to it. And... and sees and just resets and is going to lit two down Garland probably at this point. Ojimano heading back to Where do you think you go from here in this open bingo board type seed? Yeah, I don't really know. Um, I was thinking about that before the race, like, like where would we start? Um, you know, Chan or, uh, Bud Vano's got a really strong lead here on road two. Um, so far. And Chan again is... is... Bat blocked in Toph. Of course, NPC Guillotine has been on for years, but the, since the Bats and Tope always have more than one thing they say, they don't get Guillotine. Oh, Solo saying that always seems to get me. Yeah, I think that happens to everyone on one occasion or another. And the Restreamer! Dark Moon and chat saying no white man what no white mage no exit. That is a very good point. Then it becomes a somewhat redundant ship. Yep, we do have airboat on in this right. set, so that means your airship can land in the sea and become a boat. Jenkins going to find out what we get from the herb. Well, we get the TNT, so we're probably going to go back and visit some more dwarfs. Right. Well, Bajmano is pressing up. We'll see where he goes. Yep. Meanwhile, we'll yep. Earthy. Level. Go ahead. I was going to say, is, are we heading to Earth, but I guess we're heading to them first. And then, is that a chime that I see for sale? <laughs> Ooh, it is a chime. Chime for sale in Elfland. So, for opening every chest in Sky, for example, that's a very good one for that. Gotta love lazy dwarves. Also, level three, you know, fade, exit, brack, temper. Of course, black mages can't learn temper. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is a kind of an interesting board. Um, Starman is pointing out because there's there's a lot of kind of obvious connected squares like the leveling ones and such, um, but they don't line up. Yeah. They're all in different like scores. Yeah, interesting. Jan again. Let's, did he take that first trap tile? Because we have, you know, defeat every trap tile and ordeals, and he ignored the one in the pillar maze. Hmm. That is very possible. I know if I've done ordeals once, I'm not going to want to come back unless I have 12 squares and that's the 13th or something like that. Right. Right. Well, Budge Mano gets the key from the fairy, which 
for getting that friendly square means you don't have to get to level 18 anymore. Yep. Um, really kind of nice find. Just back to see what is in Alpha. And the herb tree. Which we know is TNT. Now he remembers it takes the trap tile. Which is not an easy trap tile to think. And he has to reset out. Yeah, right, but we're but... definitely committing to this, this uh, ordeal spot. We're already leaving our thief down. Alright. But Jumano going to Canary Lock, and that set of eyes, that was one of our duds. We actually have three dud locations. Yep, there are more locations than items in this fight set, which means that the others are filled with meaningless things. Yep, Victoria, however, is not a dud. Let's get the Axial from her. But Jumano checking out door is going to turn in some items here. Some gold. But Jumano gracefully puts that poor dwarf out of his misery. Thank you, Budge. Oh, we got a ribbon. Yep. Which is really nice. With Bajmano could now get sell a ribbon and save. Which Martin Shanigan and I see him filling up that row. I'd be really tempted to go down to carry floor carry one's floor and uh check some chests or visit every room there and block visit them off. Every, visit every room so that we can maybe snipe off that row. That that's that's some good thinking. Did you ever actually saw that ribbon? I did not see. I know I saw it on the item screen, but he hasn't lit up the square. Jenigan gonna pick up his ribbon. This gives him a chance to cut off Budgemano from both row two and column three. Of course, she can get the first part of that friendly square. With the key and the oxtail, he'd be able to do both parts, actually. Yep. And open every chest when there's three. There's a couple to defeat the glitch ones. We haven't seen cake yet, so it's going to be a little bit hard to defeat the glitch with cake. We're going to do it this past through, but... Yep, but, I mean, I see defeat Lich 1, I don't see defeating him with Cake. With mid Topher, it's actually oh. pretty quick to get to Lich 2, and you can always Cake him. Yeah, maybe that's the trick. It's uh, Column 5, Row 5. Very... Oh, I see that. I love the metagames. You see the, um, you know, open every chest in Earth 3 light up, you know, Jenigan will know, okay, you know, which Mano's in Earth, and Jenigan's entering Volcano, so he might be thinking about visiting every room on Carry 1. Yeah, I mean, I think like you said, at this point, until you see that Earth 3 one open, which is gonna be here real soon, you know, 
you almost feel like you have to do this. 24, 24 spell slots is a, you know, that's an inevitability if you want to make it happen. Does he Back not out, have? He doesn't, he doesn't have the rods. So it yep. Does he have exit? I don't see friends of the vampire. Friends of the. Of course, I could have just missed it, like I <laughs> missed defeat Lich with cake. Friends of the vampire is real one. C five. Oh, there. It is. Uh, so I, he's I, going to go for that. And actually, that would give him both chance at the long diagonal and column three. Yeah, that seems... Uh oh. I mean, I guess if, if your ultimate goal is you're here and you can do it, click it off. Janneke, meanwhile, is going to visit every room on the carry one floor. Ignoring the link chests. Bojimano continues to make his way out of Earth. Or is he? He's still in the Hall of Giants. I wasn't really exactly sure why. Neither was I. I mean, there is a bingo square that is that, but it's not on this board that I can see. I see. Either, and it seems like. They haven't lit up some of the squares that they were about to. Like, well, I think when Bajamano Risa, he did not get Friends of the Vampire, but... No, he, he stepped outside the save. Okay. So, I missed so, I'm pretty sure he qualified. I don't know... Oh, there we go. Now it's... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a little slow to refresh there. It's not your Shanigan. It's like... Yeah, he's going in the ice cave. He's going to cut off that column three. Yep. I mean, again, you practically have to. Um, I don't know. Trance cockatrices. Yeah, that's never pleasant. Trance is status element, but when you're fairly low level and don't have a lot of M death, you can still... You don't have status resistance. You can still stun you. Yep. And it just is, the, the animation takes so long. You know, three, three or four party members, each one of them gets a hit, you know? Oh, yeah. I can point out in chat they need to see three elements. Yes, they do. Oh, they're racing trap tiles and ice here. Budge Mono's slightly ahead. Little RNG can make a big difference here. Yeah. <laughs> They're in the same fight now, so. It's just just seem well, a little RNG can make difference. Set RNG is on, but the party is slightly different composition, which is going to make a difference. Um, as does an extra fade caster. Yeah, set RNG only works if like you reset at the same point, basically. If I remember right. But so if they did both, like, reset just outside of the power, Right now, Chanigan's a little bit ahead. It's going to be interesting to see the reaction of the other, whomever, oh, but, you know, Defeats every trap tile and ice first. Yeah, it's it's quite a race here. Did, did Budge get that trap tile in the two chest or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Budge is slightly ahead. He, he's 
they're they're on the same route right now. I think. Yeah. I think they're on the same tile again. Yeah. Which is an Agama tile, which is worth remembering when you have a black belt and squares of taking to the level 25. Yep. Ooh, black shirt. That's always a good find. Oh, <laughs> got a brain from that loot goblin. That could be big. Those few chests could yeah. be big. If it had been something like a masa, it could have been big the other way, but... Oh, it's a worm. Pretty good damage out of that black shirt. Oh, and Ooh. Chanigan just makes it. Yep. So he cuts off column three from Budgemano. Of course, Budgemano has six squares lit to Chanigan's three. So he's definitely closer to that 13th threshold. Yeah. And. I mean, Chanigan, or uh, yeah, Chanigan is probably forced now to go to ordeals. Uh, I think. Unless he's really close to row force column two. I'm not sure how many elements he's seen, but that he's going down to Lafayne. I don't see the slab translated for him, but there is the Lafanian Superstore. Yeah, maybe... Oh, he might be looking to purchase a spell from levels 1 through 7. Yep. Cast is a good spell to purchase from level 5. Yes. Bane's a good one to purchase. And love the bingo board. Actually gives a reason to buy rub. Okay, so Channing in filled one through seven. Should line up for this here. And Wu Baron Chef point out no cake though. No, that means cake is probably in Gaia, which may or may not be learnable before promotion. Black Mage can learn Gaia level 7 slot 1. I will let Budge ma named his White Mage X fur. You can tell what he's planning to do. <laughs> In fact, Chanigan, with no white mage in his party, is locked out from that unless he recruits one. Although, extra level 2, a red mage or a knight could actually do it as well. But Jamal's searching Tezard, he's looking for a grind, or I don't think he has the cloth search for Tyro Fred, not food. Crown and Marsh? What a concept! I know, right? I never would have guessed. And he's... He's definitely not finding any Tyros. He's finding plenty of fun police, but... Those are never any fun. Yeah. Right, now searching the northwest... And Southwest. And... Oh, look, there's some more fun police. <laughs> Jenkin, meanwhile, leaves Marsh. The best thing to do now he's going to no, check out to see what the kindly old king has. Yep, he's going for Tyro Friend, not food. He has to hold up the cloth eight times. I'll... If everyone does it, that's two rounds. But of course, 
Not everyone's going to do it because the Black Mage is currently napping. So, there we go, I think. Yep, and then of course you have to run, and if you're hungry for steak, well, you just have to so hold your you, appetite. So are you locked out of it now? Yes, once one runner lights up the square, the other cannot light it up. Oh, I mean, can they... Can, can Budge Mono now just kind of defeat Tyros and still keep the square? Uh, I would think so. It didn't say never kill Tyro afterwards. It just said to do that in one battle. Do it and then, yeah. yeah. So, yeah you don't have to be. Tyros. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to be friends with every Tyro. Just one of them. Just one of them. All right, fair enough. And Dark Moon in chat. Yes, he can fight them now. Okay, man. All right, Janikin now heading down to Lafayne while Ajimano is checking out Sky. Uh oh. Get and the rod, rod is in Lafayne, so. Yep. Yeah, Rod's definitely pretty good. You can defeat Lich One if you have Cake, which we have not seen yet. We could go two squares for the price of one. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty good find. You can get a lot of squares there. Just fun with a fairly low level. Brack, you transfer complete. You could X for Brack, someone like Lich. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Uh, seven to four. But Jamal still has a chance at that, or really both diagonals, but he has three on, you know, lower left to upper right. The Bunch Mono was opening every chest on the sky and kind of reset out of it. Now heading in the direction of D, he would be able to complete that friendly square. Yeah. I'll give him a kind of solid couple of more fingers that need to be blocked off. Jagan, yep. while using Earth with the rod, could do Traitor's Minion. Iker and Chip, Buzz lost all his party except the black belt. Yeah, that would make it pretty hard to open every chest. Yeah. It should be that friendly square for Ajmano. It'll probably light up in a moment. And you can visit every room on Kraken one floor while he's here, although. And that would help him towards the 13, if we wouldn't give him any other real advantage. No, I mean, it takes, it takes a, it takes, ooh, Masa. Ooh. Masa plus oh, three. Yeah, always nice to see a Masa plus three. You don't need to worry about that Black Belt fist coming online quite yet. We went ahead and saved. <laughs> yeah. That Black Belt is going to be sad. Jenkin raiding liches finds a woman. So, are we going to have somebody to touch on already sold his women? Okay. 
Yep. But we can use it to defend against status ailments. Including status. Quite so. Budge Metal going to visit every room on Kraken 1 floor? I mean, I think that as long as that tile doesn't light up, I think you basically have to do it. I agree, you're here. It's a step towards 13. And in fact, that will give him 12. I'm doing, no, I'll give him 9, excuse nine. me. Yeah, but still, I mean, it'd be that gets him. And I believe that was a light... Did he pick up a light axe? That would give him traitorous minion, because you just have to use that on Lich. Do you have to keep the black belt after hitting 25? You know, I don't know. That might be a good question for Dark Moon or someone. <laughs> Edmonds. Shangan uses that light axe. That will cut off both row one and the long diagonal from Bajmanu. And now Jenigan's actually pretty close to doing column one if he does every trap tile in the ordeals and it's level 30. Yeah, looks like we're heading back to Ordeals. And that is a real convenience of Airboat. Yeah. You can fly to Ordeals and then just take the canoe. <laughs> you can fly to Ordeals, basically. It's, it's great. Dark Moon and Chad clarifying some questions, so you cannot swap in. So basically, the White Mage was swapped for a Black Belt. You know, no, it has to be someone who started in your party and took the level 25. That makes sense. Hey, Jack, it should have decent enough levels to be able to take out these trap tiles. But Jumato's in the Hall of Dragons, so he might be looking to get a few quick levels. And let me tell you, Green D's are going to fit the bill quite nicely there. So, Bajmato's up to 11 squares. Yes, he is getting very close. Yeah, but then again, Chanigan just has to get through these mud galls, which of course can be easier said than done. With your black, your mazo wielder turned to stone. Yeah. Good play, Zap. Mud galls don't have great M up, and only chaos resists Zap. Bajmano's not wasting time trying to do the trap tiles. That is quite true. Let's see it light up there. Let's see how they do for the Agama that's down here. Yeah. This is in anyone's race because Jan can get trouble at work, maybe he will have a call on one hand and he'll be able to go to the But as Twin Fox pointed out in chat, Budge can win right now, yes.
Black shirt, I like it because green dragons or gas dragons weak against ice. Oh yeah, down to just a black belt, level 22. Ooh, 22. I guess we're gonna try and punch some more gasties. Yes. And Tiamat's not who we want to see. <laughs> Hi, Tia. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't give great experience, and there's no tile for defeating Tia One or baning her or anything like that. Ryan, Janet can... On turn order... Yes! Yes! Level 23. Jacob may be low... Jacob may be low on resources. What are you doing? Getting to cabins, he was low on resources. Where are you going from here? Interesting. Yep, nine wheel bear and checkpoint also 99 problems. That is correct. So if he gets All right. he might be looking to get houses as well. But there are no houses in Canaria. Wheel Budge Mano. Grinding his black belt. 21. This, folks, is a race. Dark Moon Chat, this feels tight. Yes, it does. 22. There is a houses for Chan again. Got nine, I believe that is enough for 99 problems, but oh, he has to use up any tents he has as well. Nope, he doesn't have any. Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess if you're up and doing it, it's worth lighting the square. Twenty-five. Yep. So, yep. Well, even 12. if Tia is not what Chanigan needs. It comes down to DPS and who can get some of those quick levels. The Agama's fast, but those dragons are going to be lucrative, but they also hit hard. Yeah, but we're one-shotting Agamas now. I, th I think we're kind of pulling ahead here on our loving grace. I agree. Just has to get to level 30. That is correct. That will be his 13th square. See the metagame because Janigan has to have seen that take one black belt to level 25. Yep. And we're at 29, so two or three more Agabas here and we'll probably be at 30. And there we go. GG's. Yep, get your GG's out in chat. For Budgemana, who has finished with an official race time of 37 minutes and 13 seconds and a forfeit coming in from Chanigan very soon thereafter. GG's. We will see if uh, our friends here want to come in for an interview here and talk to us about how this is going. In the meanwhile, um, while we are waiting to see if um, we will be joined for some post race interviews, I would like, to, if you like what you see, um, come on over to FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. 
there you can find links to how to run the randomizer, how to get to the Discord, where you'll find a bunch of friendly people who will help you out, along with um, this is where we organize races and tournaments, such as this one is on the Discord, along with the wiki, which is a very valuable resource. I have it open right now as we uh, do these things, and that familiar sound in my ear tells me that we have been joined by... Chanigan. Chanigan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> yeah. It was fun, but rough. <laughs> you, did, you seem to have gotten beat to a bunch of the really early objectives. Yeah. No, there's, those uh, early objectives are really... Uh, if you can get them, um, then ev just everything can go pretty well for you. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I uh, Budge got the uh, in the, near the end. Budge got the take the black belt to twenty five right before me, and I knew when he lit it up. Uh, I was I was done. I was that was the most nerve wracking black belt grind I've ever done. I was just waiting <laughs> for it. And when you lit and... the one next to it, <laughs> I... <laughs> it's only it's only because I I had no more cadence. Oh, um, so I'm like, yeah, I need healing stuff. I need uh, cabins and houses. So why not do this one at the same time? I have the money for it. So yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I was doing the uh, all the dragon grind. I went there before I pivoted to um, Agama because I pulled the Masa mm. out of C. And then I thought, all right, I just need levels. And I went there and I thought, wait, no, wait. This, I know where an Agama is. I'm going to go straight there. <laughs> uh, it worked out. Would have been interesting if uh, if I got it first. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was gonna do. I was uh, what did I have left? Yeah, I, I could, have a rod, I was, so yeah. I didn't have a cake. Cake was level seven or eight. It was level seven. It was yeah, seven. I, uh... yeah. So there was. I don't think it was learnable, so I, I had to find the uh, the tail. Now, was it first or second slot? Because first slot is actually Black Mage learnable. Yeah. Yeah, this is the... Uh, what the spell that I got for the uh, level 1, 2, 7. Was it Ice 3 or something like that? That you got for level 7? Was it? Yeah. Was it Rub? I don't remember what, what it was. I think it was Rub. Because I yeah. remember commenting. It was like... The bingo gave the opportunity to actually buy rub and make it useful mm -hmm. or at least yeah. yeah it was it would have been rub cake would have been slot one so yeah okay it's so yeah. learnable i don't know where tail was gonna be yeah i don't know marsh maybe no it wasn't marsh i don't believe mm -hmm. we actually saw tail yeah saw tail it. must have been sky then sky i think was there's duds in these is that right yep yes yeah i found was the, the dud, both of them sky was one dud. was uh Sky is that though? Yeah, because yeah, I checked three. the adamant oh, chest before three. I. There was so much three. death touch in Sky. I was doing that one and the mana cores, and then something else had death touch too, mm -hmm. and I just reset out. And then your and then you only had your black belt left. Yeah, and once the white mage died, it was like, uh, maybe I can open more boxes. And then the thief died, and that's, I'm not doing a solo black belt. I open boxes on spider floor. <laughs> I'm out. Sounds very fair. That would have been interesting. Would have been an yeah. interesting ending. Yeah, I probably would have gone back to Sky and then whoever found the tail first, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I got the level. If I would have gotten level 30, I just would have went Sky. Oh, no, if you did 30, you had a bingo. So if you would have beat me there, you would have had a Oh, yeah, right. Gone. So I would have been yeah. in deep trouble. So. True. No, I mean, I had to block those bingos. <laughs> <laughs> The the first three, uh, the first row, I'm like, yeah, I need one of them ASAP. Same with the uh, column three, the defeat, uh, trap tiles and ice. Mm. Um, Yo, you, I was on the final trap tile when you lit that one. That was definitely oh, a snipe wow. on me. So, yeah, same same with ordeals. Uh, or I tried doing ordeals early. Uh, I noticed I you. The, uh, the, I uh, saw you did return to sender, and then you yeah. didn't like that tile. So like, yeah. right, maybe there's something nasty in, in ordeal. Stone poison, stone oh, poison. Yeah. Uh, that went uh, before everyone, so I I needed ribbons, 
Yeah, unfortunately, I found I got two of them. So. Oh yeah, I, got, I think I got a ribbon from TNT. So that's why. I yeah, sold TNT. That yeah. But um, that's the fun part about a bingo is sort of getting these little glimpses of what the other racers doing. Like, oh, I know mm -hmm. he went ordeals. So unless I absolutely need to, I'm not going there because. He's got that already, so yeah. It's, it's I was fun. scared. I was scared when you uh, lit uh, friends of uh, of the vampire. I'm like, oh no, he has Rod. He has everything to do. Uh, oh no, to do uh, defeat Leech and Traitor's minion. I'm like, yeah, this is not going well. This was my plan all along. <laughs> no, I never never found the Rod. I I figured there were enough squares there between the chest mm -hmm. under three friends of the vampire that, um, and maybe the Rod was going to be there. The rod was there. I was going straight down and then doing, yeah. going back into two of the friends, but no luck. No, that was fun. That was a fun one. Uh, spicy bingo board. Very yeah. different from what I've uh, I've done before. Yeah, all the other ones I've done, it felt like there was a clear plan, and this yeah. one was like, uh, I guess get to Earth at some point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was my plan. <laughs> <laughs> No, my notes, I, I wrote in my notes, go to Coneria, Sarda, Crescent, Provoca, then Pop Grind, I guess. But do a Pop Grind if, uh, like, a high-level magic is in Coneria. Yeah, and I just... Lightning 2, I wasn't sure if I could do the Pop Grind, uh, unless there were um, uh, Frost Wolves. It was, like, um... I'm not, I'm not uh, gambling on that. It was troll, a troll and two bulls was my encounter, but I had the harm... Oh three whenever or oh okay whenever you, you took spell. a you took a, yeah, white, I, I had a white mage so ah, okay, i figured yeah. I, I wanted x fur so that's why i took that but you know those two together i was like all right i can do this pop grind one fight will get me there mm -hmm. and then yeah I, I went i i wasn't planning on doing the x fur the x fur thing uh, i i took teeth black belt and uh black mage mm. yeah no i the x fur i got was just a cheeky one on kraken before he, he punched me into the dirt <laughs> I don't have to live through it. I just got to do it. <laughs> no, that was fun. Yeah, that was a good one. Right. Janigan, of course, any thoughts on the tournament as a whole? Um, pretty, I'm pretty happy how it went. Um, I, we have a few things to fix for the, for next bingo. Uh, if we do one next year, uh, we have a, a plan or two about that uh, we have a few tiles that we that needs rework um and i after, after playing so much of it i don't think lockout is really doing it with how uh, final fantasy one plays uh might go back to the uh double anti anti by bingo instead uh, i don't know uh, we'll see what uh what we think about uh think about that during the uh the rest of the year uh maybe Maybe doing some co some co-ops. I, I I know uh, when we did the co-op lockout uh, blackout mingle, that was a you a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, yeah, that was good. So maybe doing that. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll have to see to wait and see. All right, Bajmana, of course. So you're heading on to the finals. What are your thoughts heading into the finals? Uh, I guess a chance for revenge against Boo Bear. He you know beat me in the. Mid-season uh, match in the little Fane, Fanian league, so I mean, he's a you know very good runner, so I got my workout cut out for me. Oh, okay. But you know, excited to get get to the finals. It's been a lot of fun playing bingo. Sort of echo what Chenigan said about lockout. It's it, it just plays very differently, and you know maybe as a every now and then you you run it, but um, you know dab co-op was a lot of fun. I agree with that. So, but it, it's been fun so far. I'm happy to get one more race. All right, it's great. Sofnum, any final thoughts? Um, I just want to make sure that once again we thank our tracker Iker and our restreamer Darkmoon for helping us put on a great show tonight. Uh, thank you to our runners for running tonight. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to commentate, a lot of fun to watch. So um, everyone had a great time. So, um, Classic Gamer, any final thoughts? All right. Well, this was very fun to watch. I'd love to see how. But you Budge Mano will start to get a row or a column and you know Danigan would cut him off and that was really fun to see the Metting Game. I mean and I'd like to thank of course RBG Limit Break for hosting us. Thank everyone in chat for coming out. You guys have been great keeping us honest and like Softnum said, you'll thank our 
we stream our Dark Moon and our Tracker Ikers kept us honest and let's see, do you want to see more about this? You know, Softnum said this early on, you know, come check out the Discord. There's a link in chat, you know, if people come there to teach you how to race, you know, the casual gamers, you know, everything. You can learn all sorts of new tricks. You know, people are friendly. Like I said, there are a lot of veterans who, if you're interested, will teach you, teach you how to beat them. All right, Sefnum, take us away. All right. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, good night.